don't be scared of the change scared to be the new kid What's up YouTube? It's your girl Lily Jane here back with another reaction video. But guys, before I get into this, I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a talk. Um, so after this Get Back Gang reaction, I'm going to chill on like a lot of my Vaughn content. This week I'm going to release either two or three more reactions to some of the songs that you guys have highly requested. But then um, after this week though, I'm going to move on to some other artists. That doesn't mean like I won't come back to Vaughn in the future. I'll never react to him again. But I will just say I'm just slowing down that type of content a lot. But but I want you guys to recommend what artists you guys would like me to start reacting to. I'm thinking about Polo G and then the documentary I'm going to start reacting to on my channel I think is going to be a Juice World one next week. So just keep that in mind guys. Please give me a suggestion to other artists that you like that are either Chicago, Drill, documentaries, any of that. Just tell me about your favorite artists guys because I know there's tons of music out there and I want to explore everything. I want to hear all the good stuff. So just keep that in mind and um, let's go ahead and get into the Get, get Back Gang. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to react to it so let's just hit it and that's good because people used to come through shooting us every day and this block uh, words can't even explain man. can't even explain hey man let's go about the old five way on money you know money man they in the building 600 boy LA man, LA Capone man, get to him man. Those hey. are two boys man. T Why are you on the man, man? Number nine, shoot him, you hear me? Boy, you a bitch, boy. Hey, we get a little bitch. Yeah. yeah. Fuck is wrong with you, hey. bitch? Hey, hey I am free, bitch. Bitch, boy, bitch, boy, boy, fuck you talking about, bitch? You have to be willing to die or go to jail for a hundred years if that's the lane that you're stepping in. You have to understand that whether you 15, 16, you got to think like a man. You in oh, you're not? Uh, Why does everybody say you're only 16 years old? They say what they want to say. How old so are you? how old are you? 300. <laughs> the story of Get Back Gang. The years 2012 to 2014 were hectic years in Chicago. People were killed left and right like flies. Both STL slash EBT and the block lost several members. Also Jaro, Mob, 600, THF 46 and 051 Young Money lost a lot of people in the gang war. It was clearly the bloodiest years between the gangs. It was a new generation that had come. The older generation was still in many ways very organized and cared more about money than killing people. The new young generation only cared about killing and being disrespectful to the dead. It was the time when people like 051 Melly, King Von, C Day, Wooski, D Rose, 051 Kiddo, Lil Boo, Lil Scrap, D Roy, KI, and many more started to become active in the streets. I just want to say to y'all too, so like, um, Yesterday, I didn't post any content, and when I was just, like, kind of relaxing a little bit, um, I actually watched the KI um, documentary from A&E last night, and that was some wild stuff, guys. I'm trying to educate myself a lot more from more reliable sources about the gang violence, too, and, like... I'm not saying that Chicago C88 like does a bad job or anything like that, but I just know a lot of it's on speculation. And when I watch the A&E documentary, all seriously, you should check it out. Um, it's, I think it's called the untold story of a gang girl. Um, definitely check it out though. It's, it's, it's just, it seems a lot more factual. I just want to tell you guys that I did check it out and I really recommend all y'all too doing it. Organized and cared more about money than killing people. The new young generation only cared about killing and being disrespectful to the dead. It was the time when people like 051 Melly, King Von, C Day, Wooski, D Rose, 051 Kiddo, Lil Boo, Lil Scrap, D Roy, KI, and many more started to become active in the streets. The years 2015 and 2016 would be top years for all BD sets. The GD sets were out for revenge after the murders of big names like Boss Trell, STL slash EBT, Lil Mark, 051 Young Money, KI, STL slash EBT, Lil Scrap, MOB, 
Polo, 051 Young Money, and Big V, Taekwon World. O Block, THF 46 and 600 also had many people locked up at the time. People like King Von, Cide, Rondo, D Rose, Manny, Mtang, T Roy, Boss Top and Boss Money were all locked up for the majority of 2015 to 2016. In 2014 to 2015, it was mainly 051 Young Money who sat in the driver's seat when it came to revenge. They wanted Lil Durk as revenge after Lil Mark was killed in 2014. They also hated him for his success, but also for providing guns and money to his block, and of course, for all the dissing against Lil Mark. But they couldn't get to him. 051 decided to get to him in another way, killing everyone close to him. Their targets were to kill Chino, THF 46, Nooski, Face World, and d OTF. Chino was Lil Durk's close friend and manager. Nooski was Lil Durk's cousin and D-Thang is Lil Durk's blood brother. Bus stop, man. Hey, this this hey 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 this bus stop right here though? This this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place, B. Hey, this bus stop, this is a real famous place, B. I ain't gonna laugh at you. Know what I'm saying? Free my nigga team. Already two months after Lil Mark was killed at the bus stop 2014, the first revenge came from 051. Nooski and Lil Durk were sitting in a car in the 700 block of East 87th Street about 3.20 p.m. They parked there for Lil Durk to go in and buy some shoes in a store. While Lil Durk was inside the store, Drilla, 051 Young Money, and Melly, 051 Young Money, came up to the side window from two different ways and shot Nooski several times. Nooski tried to drive away with bullet holes in him but crashed the car. Melly and Drilla ran back to their car and Pryboy, 051 Young Money, who was the driver, drove away. When Lil Durk heard the shots, he ran out the store and saw his cousin Bloody lying in the car. I know Lil Durk is someone that has lost several, several people in his life. And like now I'm finally hearing the story of how like Nooski was like truly killed. That is crazy. That is so tragic. And it's really, really sad. And like I feel bad for Lil Durk too with just how many people he has lost. O51 immediately started dissing Nooski and Lil Durk on social media after the murder. There were also a lot of self-snitching going on. For example, Crump and possibly Mally were at the scene where Nooski was killed. Crump was on Instagram and said, I am with the dude who did it, but he does not want to be on camera, implying that Mally did it. Mally and Crump was very close friends and was around each other all the time. Melly was for example there when Crump got killed, Melly caught a bullet to the head himself but survived. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nooski. They left his ass right here. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks now tweak. Buying some shoes, y'all see, y'all see real niggas be up here though. Nigga play with me up here on folks in this bills when bitch on the news. I look like Nooski. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. I'm with the nigga that did, he don't want to be on camera though. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. You hit me? They fucked my boy up. Right here, you feel me? Historic events. Y'all know I'm gonna bring y'all around this shit. Historic events. Huh, what's your nigga? What? Play with me, boy. I look like no. He ran into this though. He ran into the children's place, died like a bitch on Coke Snow. Goof ass nigga.
I'm sorry, but like, what? Of course someone's gonna lose their shit over that. Like, what? I'm sorry, but the how they like troll on Twitter blows my damn mind. Like, I do not understand it. The next revenge did not come a little less than a year later. This time it was Chino's, THF 46, turn. Lil Dirk's manager OTF Chino was shot and killed on the south side of Chicago. Chino was sitting in a car about 1.50 a.m. in the 8400 block of South Stony Island when Melly, 051 Young Money, walked up to his car and shot him to death. And just like after Newski got killed, the dissing and disrespect on social media started towards Lil Dirk and Chino. A lot of self-snitching was also going on after the murder. <laughs> Some of us remember what you did. Uh, it's like me a piece. Yeah, Chino Burger. That's what they said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. My son just said Chino Burger. Damn. Was that Buddha? I thought it was fat Buddha. Hey. Y'all got that order for news? Chino Burger. Chino Burger. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, Rick. Oh, thank you. That is just so disrespectful, man. Like, I just... Uh, I just don't understand it, man. That, that's uh, I'm just shook that they just keep going and taking from Dirk. Like, shit, dude. And, like... Dirk has honestly been kind of lucky that he hasn't got snatched or shot because they were really gunning for him. Oh, Bill. What's up? Y'all with that OTLK shit? Oh, man. Hey, this motherfucker focus as hell, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all put this shit back to the grill, man. This shit disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real shit, focus as hell, man. After the death of Newski and Chino, Dirk wanted Melly's head on a stick. He had a big bag out on Melly's head and talked about him in several songs. For example, in the song Die Slow he says, For the man that killed my cousin, make sure he die slow, and in the song like that, he says, It's one op that we ain't blast, after him it ain't no fun, which is aimed at Melly who later himself pointed it out in a video. Now we will fast forward a little bit. In 2015, 600 and THF 46 lost several members. One month after Melly killed Chino, 051, Jaro and Mob killed Lil Boo from 600 which was a big score. A few weeks later, DB, Taekwon World, killed Kpo from Front Street. A month after that, Melly was back again and killed Raheem after Raheem had shot him in the foot two weeks earlier. Two months after that, Bay Bay, M.O.B., killed Stella from 600. THF 46 felt compelled to do something after Raheem and Chino were killed. Westbrook, THF 46, caught Wang, 051 Young Money, and shot him to death. One month later, Arrow from 051 killed a bystander from THF 46 named Taiwan. In 2016, both THF 46 and 600 got some revenge for Chino and Raheem and Stello and Lil Boo respectively. However, Oblock lost two lovable members, Cheno and Big A who both put in a lot of work. In June 2016, Rome, THF 46, and Team Man, THF 44, killed T-Berg from 051 Young Money. Three days later, Bite Down, 600, and Wu Thang, Duke Squad, killed Bei Bei from Mob. About a month later, Poppy, Taekwon World, and Can't Get Right, STL slash EBT, killed Cheno from a block. Two months later, Gucci, THF 46, and Tay Tay, THF 46, killed a boy from Mob. 051 got enough after losing T-Berg and Wank in a short time. Melly and Tristo from 051 Young Money caught Trayvon, 
THF-46, and shot him to death. Literally one day after that, Rome, THF-46, killed Shot Mac from 051 Young Money and two days after that, the Kira's big brother, G.I. Joe, STL hit right, STL slash EBT, killed Big A from a block which was a huge score. After an already tough year for a block 2016, 2017 opened in an equally tough way. DB from Taekwon World, who T Roy was already looking for, instead caught D Roy outside a store and shot him to death. This was a huge score. Probably the biggest in several years. T Roy put in huge work. Him, King Von, and J Money was O Block's go to shooters when the block needed them the most. They all took out top killers for their block. O Block depended on those three people for a couple of years. Everybody in O'Block loved T-Roy. He was always down to drill and had no mercy when he did. This was O'Block's biggest loss of all time. Think of it as if King Von had been killed today. It had that impact. Man. Think of it as if King Von had been killed today. Man. I'm assuming this was made before Von died. That. That does hit different. Wow. I'm sorry, I just have to move on because, like, I don't want to dwell on that. That was just, wow. Crazy. After T. Roy was assassinated, mainly O Block gathered but also 600. King Von, who was in prison, pressured O Block to do something and that it would be a bloodbath. He could not do anything about his best friend being killed. When he found out that D. Roy had been killed, he cried in the cell for several weeks. He demanded revenge and everyone else from O Block was on the same path. It was now that Get Back Gang was to be formed. Oh, damn. That's crazy. So like all that started happening because Vaughn was stressing so much in his cell that he wanted everyone to get revenge for him. Well, everyone was on the same page, but damn, dude, that's crazy. Having that much pool, not even there. also wanted to share with y'all so you guys know in the previous um chicago scene stuff i've asked questions about like twitter and like if they use it so i actually learned that they actually have a um crime squad essentially that goes through social media and they comb through all the tweets and they use certain ones like ki was a case study and they use her tweets to figure out um in social media now for like certain posts on twitter it'll get flagged and they'll like have it and they'll go look at it and they'll like you won't even know what's happening but they created a team decoding all the social media stuff so they are watching a lot closer than everyone thinks you know it has really surprised me and then like also too like the retaliation for like say like if you lose someone in this in chirac and once you lose them it's normally a two-day turnaround period that you're going to retaliate and like kill another person and i was like that's crazy that it happens that quickly and what they do now is they send a lot of intervention teams to people that like post like things that seem a little bit off on social media and just go talk to them and make sure they're okay and i was like that's awesome that's awesome that someone's trying to put a stop to this because so many of these lives gets lost and it's just sad because you know, 
it's just so much death. There's so many families hurting, so many moms hurting, so many dads hurting, all of them. Everyone's going to be mourning, and it just happens so frequently. You never get a chance to, you know, stop mourning or a chance to breathe and catch up and, like, I don't know, man. I just, it breaks my heart. Damn, G, don't stop. Damn, they on here talking about what you think about T. Roy getting popped. <laughs> Damn, T. Roy got popped. Just so y'all know, I do know this is FBG Duck now. I know what he looks like. I know his voice. Just letting y'all know, I took note. When did that happen? When did T. Roy get popped? Damn, somebody popped him. Is he dead? Is he dead? Did, did he die? Damn, merch that they popped T Roy. It must don't be, it ain't, it must ain't that important shit. It ain't all over the internet. I ain't seen it. Shit. He must not be dead. say like i know a lot of people are scared of t roy because him and vaughn were like you know best friends they did a lot of killing together they ran together before vaughn went to prison and stuff like that and i'm just saying from what i have learned about vaughn he was a savage he did not care about what anyone thought he was gonna kill if he needed to and if that was you know what he intended to do and just t roy being his right hand man he, he's definitely just as crazy as vaughn like i would not want to mess with either one of them Buka, 600, went on Twitter and promised a bloodbath. One month after T-Roy was killed, however, another setback would come. Babo had just been released from prison after beating a murder case. At 11.12 p.m. on March 6th, Almost six hours after the $10,000 bail had been posted, a surveillance camera captured Bobo pushing through a metal turnstile and walking out of the sprawling jail complex with the gray hoodie now covering his head. He jumped in a car with two friends and rode off south on California Avenue, but moments later, a white SUV pulled alongside Andrilla, 051 Young Money, and Montana, 051 Young Money, shot him several times. Bobo collapsed in the street and died from multiple gunshot wounds in what had all the appearances of a well-planned hit. Twenty shell casings from at least two handguns were found nearby. The white SUV crashed and Drilla and Montana fled on foot. This was an extremely bold hit. had to be like a really really intense moment for him and like rest in peace for sure but like I couldn't imagine you know tasting freedom and then being killed moments later that's horrible a block was out every day after T Roy died they did not care who they got did not matter if it was a member of STL slash EBT, 
Jara City, Mob, Taekwon World or 051 Young Money. Spot them got them. The first revenge came on May 17, 2017. Gleesh, Oblock, E Dog, Oblock, Duke, Oblock, and HK, Oblock, were out sliding on Jara territory. They spotted Lilho from Jaro and shot him to death. The Get Back Gang was in full effect. The next get back came a week later. Now it was 600 turn to take revenge. Capfuck 12, 600, and Mikado, 600, caught Jamo from mob in traffic and shot him in his chest and arm. He later died on the hospital. One month later, the third body would be dropped. This time it was Oblock's turn to get back again. Duke, Oblock, and HK, Oblock were sliding and spotted Poppy from Taekwon World. HK jumped out of the car and shot Poppy in the head. HK would become the heart of Get Back Gang and would later be called Headshot King. Man, that's some wild shit. I'm just like, I'm shocked at how many headshots there are in with all this gang violence. Because like, to me, I feel like you have to have incredible aim to, you know, do a headshot. And that just, that just says a lot. Um, but alright guys, I am actually going to break this up into two parts. I was going to do one, but I'm getting a little bit cut, tor uh, cut short for time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and you guys can have part two tomorrow. So far, this is really interesting, um, how the Get Back Gang is formed, mainly for the Revenge of T-Roy. And like, all of them, all the people that have already died, that has already been told in the story, rest in peace, every single one of them. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll give a better summary, guys, when we get to the next part, because I just want to get the whole story before I make any comments, so thank you again for watching this video, guys, and please comment down some other suggestions of some other documentaries you guys would like me to check out, other artists, anything in that nature. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.